to accomplish what those guys accomplished, uh, to put ourselves in that position and to waste that opportunity. That was um, that was very difficult to walk away from that game. They stick with you for a long time, and I think it kind of gets you back to the drawing board and, and energizes you to try to you know try to get through that. As a team, you got to complement each other. Off the right side, hit by the the there's going to be days where units on our team are playing well, and then there's days when they're not, and the other units got to pick that up. Looking to throw under pressure immediately. He's hit, he's thrown down and sacked on the play. Oh, man, that happened in a hurry. Brian Gutekunst appears ready and willing to head back to that aforementioned drawing board, aiming to build yet another contender in Green Bay, starting with free agency and the NFL draft in April. While the front office evaluates the roster, Matt LaFleur has gotten to work on his coaching staff for 2022. That includes the hiring of Rich Passaccia as special teams coordinator, a man Brian Gutekunst knows all too well. Yeah, really excited, you know, to get Rich Passaccia in here and, and, and spend some time that I've known him for a long time. Him and my dad, you know, coached way back in South Carolina, so he's known me for a long time. Watching his career and then the success that he's had, he's obviously going to have a lot of influence on what we do in that area. We were definitely going to have to do some different things because it's certainly something that's kind of uh, dragged on here longer than we wanted to. Uh, I kind of thought in the middle of the season we had a chance to get better and we didn't. We're going to have to continue at it, but again, we're excited for Rich and what he might be able to do. Here's a look at other changes to Matt LaFleur's staff since the offseason began. Plenty of promotions on the offensive side of the ball, plus the return of longtime assistant Tom Clements to the quarterback room. Thanks for watching Packers Daily.